California defeats Texas to protect climate law, organic products smell fishy, and a New Zealand wine counts carbon. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, November 4th. Good news for the climate and the cleantech industry, California voters rejected Proposition 23, a ballot initiative sponsored by out-of-state oil companies that would have overturned the state's 2006 climate law. It serves as a resounding referendum on California's trailblazing commitment to clean energy and climate action, and is a major victory in the face of a well-funded campaign by fossil fuel interests. The defeat of Proposition 23 allows California to prove to the rest of the nation that it is possible to reduce emissions, stimulate innovation, and create jobs all at the same time. Now, here's Catherine Goldstein with Webvine. Thanks, Sarah. When looking for all-natural, green, and organic personal and cleaning products, new research suggests that those fresh fragrances you may be smelling aren't so clean. Products tested admitted 420 chemicals, and unfortunately, companies aren't required to list the ingredients to consumers. Even unscented products aren't totally safe from potentially toxic fumes. So what products are best to buy? I'd recommend breaking out the DIY products like baking soda and vinegar to be on the safe side. Thanks, Catherine. And finally, while we might know how much alcohol or calories are in a glass of wine, what about its carbon footprint? New Zealand's Mobius Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc has become the first wine in the world to list its carbon footprint directly on its label, letting consumers know exactly how much carbon emissions it took to get the wine into their glass. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.